boy Virgo collective Sun Moon rising Venus signs welcome to your seven card draw what do I need read for this full moon to new moon in May 2022 I'm your reader Mark Angelo Lyons Mal for short professional witch professional intuitive president of drawing the circle production since 1998 author of words of grace from a professional witch link in the description box down there and up there creator on patreon patreon.com slash drawing the circle i'm the archangel of lions mark angelo lions but you can call me mal hi and virgo lots of planets in virgo sun conjunct jupiter and what else i'm generation x so i guess it's a. Uh, uh, Uranus is conjunct Pluto. I'm glad they're getting along. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, a seven card draw is just one card from seven different decks getting you clues, tips, and hints about a specific astrological timeline. So not a timeless read, a timed read. In this case, a waning moon from full to new in May 2022. Uh, Let's have a look. Full moon in Scorpio, Monday. May 15th, 12, 13 a.m. Eastern. I am in New York. Uh, so what I recommend is what I do in a case like that. I start at 11.30 p.m. in this case on Sunday night and work until uh, 12.30 a.m. So you get that's the witching hour, a foot in each day. Just saying. And then when the moon rises at her peak, then your heart's desire seek. You then go into the waning, the letting go, the releasing, the shadow work, the alchemy, the surrender, the letting go. However, uh, that plays out in our lives with the lunar tides, clearing the way to the new moon in Gemini on Monday, uh, May uh, 30th, 7.30 a.m. So you get to wake up in a Duran Duran kind of moon because it's a new moon on Monday. Light your torch, wave it for the new moon on Monday and cast your brains out. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fun, I have a feeling. Uh, so it is a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, check your other signs, because each sign is going to have different aspects, perhaps, uh, of things to release and let go of and heal and alchemize and shadow work. Um, but maybe you get different points of view on the same subject as well. Always helpful. So both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath, if you will. Breath is important to this process, I find. Well, you got to breathe anyway. Uh, and I will do the best that I can to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace to help you uh, do your healing work. Um, and I've been a serious note because I've been trying to keep these fun, so let's say this. Um, I'm well aware of what's going on on planet Earth. Absolutely. I watch the news. I got my finger on the pulse. Plus, I'm an empath. A little hard to miss that stuff unless you're, you know, completely shut off from the outside world. And I'm not. I'm a hermit, but I'm not that much of a hermit. So the more that you can heal your own interior world, your own personal part, your corner of the garden, through unity consciousness, you are helping this world heal. Shadow work is so important right now. Because if we keep pushing down our stuff, it can pop up through other people and vice versa. So, just saying, you do you. You make your dream come true. You, uh, that's your part of the universal plan. Cool. Uh, otherwise, let's do this. Please take a nice deep breath. Let's see how much fun we can have with shadow work read. Still point. Okay, here we go. As I call upon the collective pantheons of angels, archangels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters of the general assembly, the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, the spirit animals and totems, as well as the pantheon of all pantheons, traditions, lineages, and cultures for the Virgo Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, happy, healthy, wealthy, wise, intimate. Well, I did the wrong reading. Those were last week. <laughs> the happy, healthy, wealthy, wise. No. For the Virgo Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus signs, and cross watchers, uh, what is the dominant eighth chakra archetype hovering? That's what happens when you do two series simultaneously. Please ground me and help me focus because this vibe is really high. What's the dominant eighth chakra archetype? The soul power being alchemized from lead to gold, shadow to light, pain to peace, 
toxic to healthy, fear to love, uh, this uh, full to new May 2022. The gossip archetype. Uh-oh, Piscadios. Uh, one of the creative uh, family uh, archetypes of the nine families, the creative family of the archetype. The eighth chakra hovers over our head and affects the electromagnetics of every other chakra, what we attract, what we repel, not according to what we want, but according to what we need in order to develop the soul powers that we came in here to do. Carolyn Mace, uh, MYSS, PhD, this is her deck, uh, Sacred Contracts, it's all in there. Great book. The shadow is an indication of the shadow work, right? The stuff that's being healed, not just in you, but most likely in humanity. This is your part of helping to heal it. The light is what you are shooting for, and there is a hidden blessing in the light. Can't see it because, well, lead has three more atoms than gold. So to take it from shadow to light, from lead to gold, you have to surrender, release, burn off, transform, three of those atoms. Waning Moon Reed, we will look at what that gold is in our last card down, the Blessed Bee, deck by Lucy Cavendish. Let's talk the gossip, shall we? Mm, spill the tea across the table. The shadow attribute thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. I'll be honest with you, I used to really, really be into gossip as a teenager, and of course celebrity gossip and, you know, rock and roll gossip and, you know, that's, but that stuff is so public domain, and if you're going to go to be in the public spot like that much, you have to certainly learn to tolerate a good chunk of that until it gets libelous, and I was raised by a lawyer, I don't do libelous. Um, great name for a kid, though. Oh, libelous? Um... The light attribute that, that you're shooting for here is awakens consideration for the feelings of others, honoring trust. Now, I don't gossip anymore. There's a difference between the, a, a right of confession between two people, honoring confidences with boundaries, an honorable exchange, because the light, because that's what the, the gossip, the golden gossip, if you will, does. They like, they make great counselors. The truth just flies out of people around uh, uh, someone who's alchemized this archetype, but they do not pass on confidential information. I took, well, vows of confidentiality are part of my vows to the gods. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not even what I do with other people, with readings, with clients, with friends. I was a minister. I literally was a minister of a pagan church uh, and heard a lot of confessions. It's just part of my blood vows to my gods. Eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> nice work if you can get it, but oof, a lot of work. All right. Next four chakras down. Spiritual power, uh, mental power willpower, choices, decisions, and emotional. Uh, crown, third eye, throat, and heart. Let's see how that's affected by this uh, gossip archetype. Using the Daughters of the Moon Tarot. This is your feminine energy, your yin internal, your personal world, your psychological world. The world behind your eyes. Let's see what hits the table. Breathe. Mm. Still point. As I call upon my goddesses of Earth, the sign of Virgo powers of the North. This is where the shadow work begins, right? Third chakra. they got to choose to do it or not. Everybody has that choice every single moment of every single day. So please, what is it they need to be aware of in their own interior energy system? Heart, throat, third eye, crown. Uh, to help them with the alchemy of this gossip archetype, this new to full, full to new. Uh, May 2022, Ten of Pentacles. I like this. When it's an Earth card, heart, third, third eye crown, uh, the element of Earth Pentacles, this is about wisdom that you've gained, right? It's not so much coins in the outside world unless you're eating change <laughs> for a change. No, this is the harvest. You have harvested a lot of wisdom through experience in this world, and us Virgos do. I don't know about you, but people confess to me, like total strangers. I think a lot of people have that story. But Virgos, because regardless of placement, Virgos really are the servants of the Zodiac. Uh, and we can be very empathic, but not like water signs, even though I have a Pisces moon. It doesn't help. Uh, but we can be sympathetic, right? We can be compassionate and sympathetic uh, in that way. And essentially, we want to help people heal. Um, sixth house 
uh, healing and occupation. And many of us have healing occupations, even if it's not so literal, hang a shingle as a healer. So, you know, if you're really alchemizing this into that place of being like an honorable, trusted, confidential space, then this uh, waning moon really gives you an opportunity to listen to what you hear from others who may be gossiping and uh, really put it up against the knowledge, the wisdom that you have in you. Let's keep going. What's this look like from the outside? Uh, looking in lower three chakras, we finished the chakras with these three cards. Uh, solar plexus, sacrum, and root. Uh, how you navigate through the physical world, your physical uh, survival, your intuitive uh, f survival intuition, as well as your relationships. Uh, root chakra, groups, tribes, circles of friends, your favorite band, the Yankees, the Mets, any tribe, any group you belong to, including the human one. Uh, second chakra, relationship, one-on-one -on -one with another person or thing, uh, and your relationship to yourself in the solar plexus, your honor code, what you will, what you won't, what you do, what you don't, and all that jazz. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. And here we go. As I call upon my gods of earth, the sign of Virgo powers of the north please one card in clarity for the virgo collective sun moon rising venus signs and cross watchers watching this video receiving this reading what is the yang dynamic lower three chakras either them from the outside looking at themselves in or they're from the inside uh looking out into the physical world what's going on here what's going on lower three chakras that they need to be aware of uh, to help them with this shadow work of the gossip with that internal harvest. And we've got the Ace of Wands. There is a new opportunity that pops up, a new desire, and you're like, oh, it's the most phallic card ever, kind of, sort of. But this is a uh, Zeus. It's the Mythic Tarot, all uh, Greek myth. It's one of my favorite decks. I don't read decks I don't love. Uh, and he's issuing the, uh, the challenge, the quest, for the Golden Fleece, right? The quest of the Jason and the Argonauts is the whole uh, a suit of wands in the mythic uh, tarot. So the vibe I get on that is like something has been sparked or something is going to be sparked. Probably there's a lot of gossip around it and you might have a deeper knowing to it. Well, you got a one on the outer and a 10 on the inner and it's like, are you gonna, are you gonna break a confidence? Is somebody breaking a confidence here? Virgos, we're the only sign that crosses our legs, honey. <laughs> I'm crossing them right now. I am crossing them right now. No, no, no. In the vault. There's a difference between confession and gossip. If somebody confess confesses to this person, and then this person, and 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 this person that's a different story. Uh, um, believe me, we, I, Virgos, I'm sure we all hear a lot of confessions every day. Uh, so, we got our chakras on the table. Let's get you a healing mantra from the Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn. Um, because we are ruled by Mercury. And by the way, Mercury is retrograde as of today, I think. Yeah, no, as of today. So, um, or yesterday, whatever. Uh, who cares? <laughs> Numbers don't make me do math. So a mantra would be helpful to help focus uh, that Mercury that we have. Uh, that is our ruler. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call upon the ascended master, it's going to say general assembly because gossip can be about anything. Sex, money, love, relationships, right? Health can be political. It could be anything. But with that inner wisdom, the Ten of of, uh, of Pentacles, the Harvest card, like I really got that this is somebody with the integrity probably to be like, mm, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm at my Ten of Pentacles on the inside, thanks. Or they know something. Uh, that that Ace of Wands, there is that spark, that desire of wanting to know, or maybe someone from the outside wanting to know what they know, and perhaps this person is a gossip. Uh, so what is the perfect healing mantra here? Seriously, Waning Moon, Shadow Work, this, uh, this full to new May 2022. Opening my mind... 
I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. Now that's interesting, and I'll tell you why. The Ace of Wands is certainly a card of desire, right? What you yearn for, what you burn for, what you what your heart desires, but it's a seed. Well, you can be thinking away about a certain thing. You can hear a little piece of gossip. And to a allow your mind to open on such a thing, like maybe there is some gossip in that harvest that's just not true. So there is a spark here that presents itself that makes it go, huh? That, right? Very much that. Now I want to know. But like I said, it could also be that this that this is an actual person, in a way, coming towards you, uh, uh, wanting to know what you know. So opening the mind, I am, I allow myself, I allow, that's key, I allow myself uh, to see beyond my beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. It's what's funny, the card that was stuck to it was the one from the last reading, activating the third eye. I am willing to see beyond my beliefs, ideas, and conclusions. I was thinking that in the card. I'm stuck to the bottom of the bookie book, though. Uh, all right, opening uh, the mind, opening my mind, opening their mind, opening my mind. Well, I don't think anybody else can except, uh, uh, you know, we can only open our own minds. Again, that's a choice. Um, I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. Beep, 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 beep noise. Uh, when your mind opens, you are no longer limited. Do I have to cast? <laughs> It's stopped. I'm scaring the beep beep thing. When your mind opens, you are no longer limited by fearful beliefs or at odds with your own healing journey, right? So your mind is open. It's like, okay, somehow this is part of my healing journey, right? Dealing with this gossip. Uh, with an open mind, you are aware of a bigger cosmic picture where your personal life ushers in your highest potential by uplifting the consciousness of humanity. All right. So there is an there is an opportunity here to really evolve personally, but I get the feeling it's as a result of other people. Like you can have an archetype a reason a season or a lifetime. I've had it for a reason. I can't say I've ever had it for a season, like for years and years, and then it disappears. Um, but I haven't had it. It's not a lifelong uh, archetype for me. It's just not. It's I, 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 Like I said, I do love some celebrity gossip. That's cute. Sometimes. Because it's mostly false, and you know it. Um, but to get that, that these interactions, which, with, with, like tests, but not pass-fail tests, litmit, lis, litmus tests, right? To be like, this is where you are on this. This is where you are right this. And, and you'll notice by what's going on inside of you, your own nervous system while it's going down, if intuitively it feels right in your body, right? It's like, I, uh, this doesn't feel good. I don't want to have this conversation. I don't want to know this. But w the vibe that I get with this is something goes, huh, I want to know that. Uh, okay. Uh, as your mind opens, life is not centered around your personal gains and losses, but shining your light for the well-being of all, wherever you happen to be. And light is truth. And just saying, all right, right? So this could be absolutely you as well from the outside uh, looking in. This mantra is ideal for ending the inner negotiation with ego which the ego says, oh, just tell them what you know, or oh, just ask, right? And the soul is like, there are more important things we can be focusing on, absolutely. And the personality has to choose between the two, right? The ego and the soul, the devil and the angel, and we got to choose. Um, uh, unraveling self-sabotage, which gossip is certainly a part of, because what goes around doth come around, and confronting the inevitability of loss, which is an interesting part of that, right? Because, well, why does a gossip gossip thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, which is a loss of power if they don't do that. You see? <laughs> I know. 
I know, and witches are some of the worst of them, I gotta say, because we know shit. <laughs> yeah. So, a gossip opening their mind. Okay. Let's see what hits the table next. The higher selves of all involved. The whispers of love oracle. There's not one womp womp card in this deck. They're all lovely. But uh, they do often turn the party. Let's see what this is about. Higher selves of all involved. Please take a nice deep breath. How many people have been talking about shit about me since I was born so I can deal with the gossip archetype? Still point. As I call upon the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, what is the whisper of love for the Virgo collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, and or cross watcher? Watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the piece of information, inspiration, insight they most need from the higher selves of all involved so they can alchemize this gossip archetype? Harvest on the inner, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the issuing of the quest on the outer, opening their mind, allowing themselves to see beyond their beliefs and ideas. Please, what is their whisper of love for this Full to new, May 2022. Love who you are. I wonder if there's a piece of gossip about you that comes across your, uh, that comes across the bow. <laughs> so just because I was going to say comes across your desk, but you know, sometimes it feels like a shot across the bow. Uh, you are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Now, I've been reading cards for a very, very long time. There is something so true about that for everybody, right? Love who you are, like four words, but that is a journey. That's why I teach and talk about the path of true love and the path of true love readings and soulmate contract reads and all that stuff. I mean, the, the, the spiritual development that comes through every single relationship we have in our lives, reason, season, or lifetime. So there's something here, and I'm not going to say that it's concerning me, but look at, look, look, at what, look at what my body's doing. Arms crossed over my solar plexus, right? Legs crossed. You might have to love yourself through this in terms of not passing on gossip, right? Or, or having to move away if there is a gossip there, yet keeping your mind open. Why do people gossip? Let me count the ways. We won't. This video is long enough as it is. But to really get uh, this part of it, that you're a divine and magnificent being. It's like, it's not rise above it so those, those humans can go do their thing because I'm a divine being. It's that thing of saying, I'm going to open my mind, try and see this a little differently, and rely upon my own inner wisdom uh, in this situation. Maybe not believe so much what I'm hearing, even if it's somebody who may have delivered the goods before. Because <laughs> that's sometimes. Not everybody gets it right all the time. All right, this should be interesting. If you're going to do the shadow work, why not have... A divine animal with you, a spirit animal or totem. I love these cards, but like I said, I don't work with any deck I don't absolutely adore. Um, uh, and and it's you know kind of a traditional thing on a vision quest, right? You call upon your spirit guide, your spirit animals, and your totem. So let's see who hits the table. Please take a nice deep breath. Mm. Still point. I love the I, I love this pantheon, please. As I call to the spirit animals and totems for the Virgo collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video, receiving this reading. Who walks with them? Who flies with them? Who swims with them? Who crawls with them, offering them the protection, guidance, grace, love, wisdom, and power so that they may successfully alchemize the gossip archetype receiving the hidden blessing with that wisdom inside of themselves which if they don't realize they have it in there then to really take the time to reflect because aces are new beginnings and and it does even i think speak of the solar plexus that it, it might be that thing that it just gets them it's like ah right 
that initiation of fire, that initiation of desire, a call to the quest, and for them to open their mind about it, right? To allow themselves a little bit here, a little bit there, to see beyond their beliefs and ideas. Virgos, we can be a little detail-oriented that way and not do that. Because the higher self is saying, love who you are. It's like, it's not that they're doing anything wrong here. It's just that they need to kind of look beyond what they're hearing in terms of gossip, which is a very simple way of looking at this reading, actually, and open their mind that, that you know, if there's something feels off in there to love that, open their mind and, you know, don't crack up, bend your brain, see both sides, throw up your mental chains, and... And <laughs> may they do so, Howard Jones, with uh, 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 the, the, the spirit animals and totems that are signed up to help them do this. Who are they? What is their message? What is the Divine Animals Oracle for them this full to new May 2022? Never more! <laughs> you got the raven. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, raven news! I make the big bucks. They leave the right cards in my hand because they, because they make me pray until the card clicks. That's why card number twenty-three. Getting all daughter of Trigon on us here. <laughs> it's probably a very small percentage of of my watchers got just got that reference, but I don't care. Go Teen Titans, go! Card number twenty-three, uh, Raven News. Keep your senses about you. News or a significant announcement is coming. Do not believe everything you hear unless it is from reputable sources. Go ahead, buy the buy the divine animals <laughs> oracle and tell me that it does not say that. It says that right here in black and white. Uh, gather information and guidance before making decisions. We can stride through other worlds, not just this one, in order to understand our nature. I'm feeling a little Odin magic in the air, and it don't feel like the Odin sleep. The magic, Raven magic, and in this case, Nor Seder. I think it's Seder, S E I, it could be Cedar, Cider, I before, eight, whatever. Cider, Raven magic, uh, is trance like and news gathering. Ravens here are used as a, uh, magical messengers going between the worlds, gathering guidance and information. If we think about Odin's process of sending his thoughts and memory out uh, into the worlds, then uh, we can see the essence of the shamanic act of sending oneself uh, out to other realms for guidance and healing. <laughs> Do it every night. I'm just not formal about it. Raven energy is useful in divination of all kinds and shamanic animal travel, you shapeshifters. Well, we are mutable earth. Look, there is news going around in whatever this is. True news, fake news, whatever. The gossip, this is not about the, the veracity of the information itself. It's about honoring trust. It's a creative family archetype. Look at what chaos is created as a result of passing on lies, illusions, deceptions, and delusions, right? And the healing, though the truth will will set you free, but will piss you off first, right? The healing that can happen from truth and from healthy boundaries and honoring that if someone says, no, please don't tell anybody, this is just between you and me, in the vault, if you want to Seinfeld it, then, uh, then you keep that. You just do. And I'm going to be honest with you, my vow of confidentiality is why I can read people for filth and for pay. Uh, because I won't. I won't. I will take some, if someone, like, I really learned something, or if there's a story that can help somebody else, I'll change the gender, the name, the country, and I'll change all of that stuff just to uh, translate a wisdom lesson. That's different. But that is also a, a probably a really good way. Like how many therapists will say, "Well, I had a client ten years ago who blah 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 blah." Right? They make the golden gossip. The golden gossips. <laughs> Thank you for being a gossip. Uh, 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 probably are, are make brilliant, brilliant counselors and therapists speaking and listening. One would think. Last card down. The Blessed Be, the mystical Celtic blessing cards to enrich and empower by Lucy Cavendish, the hidden blessing in the gold. So here's what's going to happen. 
We're going to get the card. I'm going to read from the bookie book. Last card down. We're going to do the blessing for real. I got the Archangel Ariel's torch, the torch of Ariel. We do these blessings for realsies. Uh, and uh, uh, then um, let's chat a little bit because I do like to sum it up uh, as we do this. Get ready. This is a lot. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Still point. As I call upon the pantheon of all pantheons, all traditions, lineages, and cultures for the Virgo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video, receiving this reading, what is the hidden blessing for them? As a result of the development of the soul power of the gossip, awakening their consideration for the feelings of others and honoring trust of themselves, of the divine, of the other people involved, to honor the trust that has been given to them with that harvest on the inner, because they, they not just know better, they've lived through this before. They've got that kind of wisdom inside. And with that Ace of Wands, here's the opportunity. It's the opportunity to gossip, to stop the gossip. Well, to maybe hear the gossip, but then to open the mind about that gossip, allowing them to see beyond their beliefs and ideas, which only they can allow that, and for them to love who they are. They're divine and magnificent people. They don't have to, you can love people and still not agree with their gossip, right? You can still say, oh, I'm not believing that. Even if it's somebody really close to you, you can still love who you are and still love them and just not agree with them. Because with Raven, there are other ways of getting truth here than through the grapevine. God of the grapevine, Dionysus, my patron, for sure. Shorzies gets me little tidbits, but there's nothing like going directly to either the source that's being talked about or to source, like <laughs> horizontal, vertical. So please, what is the perfect blessing, the hidden blessing for this Virgo Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign this uh, full to new May 2022? A blessing for unity where once there was division. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> what are we going to do? Take credit? Well, so I was like, look over there. <laughs> oh, come on. So there's been a divide. There's been a division uh, here as a result of gossip. Oh, it feels like it's going to be one hell of a waning moon, right? Right, getting ready for what? A new moon in Gemini, third house, communication and self-expression. Card number 37. Well, look, she's got a pretty crown and a bunny. I think usually people will have one or the other, not both. Bunny, bunny. <clears throat> Card a number uh, 37. Yeah, it's about two pages, but like I said, we do these for realsies. I try and, you know, keep it light throughout, but this is the conveying of divine energy and, and, and word and breath and breathe. <sighs> Still point. Pantheons of Pantheons confer the blessing through me. Here we go. Card number 37, a blessing for unity, where once there was division. A blessing to help accept the differences between you, so that they inspire conversation and exploration, interest and discovery, rather than separation and rejection. May the division between you be left behind as you both begin to build a bridge of light formed from the willingness within your hearts to find your way back to a common vision, meaning what really happened. He said, she said, then what actually happened. Okay, they said, they said, and then whatever happened. Uh, may the differences be worked out, uh, worked out through the highest good of all concerned and foremost goal. In other words, working it out is going to be, the blessing is going to be, look, no, we're going to work this out. We're going to work this out for the highest good of all concerned, right? For the well-being of all and with harm to none. May the differences that remain be ones that bring spice and change and agility to your ways of thinking, opening the mind, and may the bridge that is built 
between you all. Be strong and sturdy, lasting through the ages. May the newfound unity recognize that there is not sameness, but a oneness of vision and a weaving together of dissimilar threads to create a glorious picture of paradox and complementary opposites. Like, you know, two parents, they, well, well, married or not, right? They have a kid and they go separate ways. It's like, well, do you share the common vision of the kid's well-being, right? That's a bridge. That's a lifelong bridge, apparently. That's why I have cats and companies. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> Work. Uh, I told you I'm keeping it light. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let the antagonism and focused upon rejection give way to a humility, a willingness to listen. And may those who are unquiet and bellicose, haven't seen that word in a while, in their rumblings and threats be stilled by the knowledge that all will gain when peace is found. It's a lot of verbiage. Uh, may the love that can be born between people find its way through the fear. May the sense uh, that when together more can be achieved than when stubbornly apart, melt away the fences and walls that hold us from each other. Let us live and let live, give and take, share and receive and come to an understanding. And let none of us involved in the bringing together of separate parties set alight that bridge. Instead, let us quietly, surely, and with intentions matching actions, build the way to reach each other once again. United, so much can be done. We can raise each other up. And as you do, each of you who brings your heart to this task of healing will stand firm upon the solid ground you are now building. Unity is yours, friend. For the well-being of all, and with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done. So much be. So it is. This could be in any situation, but there's definitely some gossip in play, but you know better. Deep inside, in your heart, in your soul, you know better. And yet, there is this spark. This is this flame, this opportunity, this seed of fire with the ace of wands there, but you're opening your mind, allowing yourself to see beyond your beliefs and ideas, and loving who you are as a part of it, right? People make mistakes, whatever. We all think differently, and we see something differently, and that's called a learning curve, because there is news coming in, and some of it might be more spiritual and magical than just gossip to kind of clarify things, intuitive and whatnot, in order for, in order for there to be a blessing uh, of unity when there was division. Now look, like I was saying earlier, you heal this in your energy field, you're helping to heal the illusion of separation and division and all that crazy out there as well, little by little by little. So, if you found this helpful, like the video, hit the thumbs up, help the other Virgos find it, Virgo power, we all gotta stick together, we're the only sane ones of the Zodiac. And if you want more of me, well, I don't know, I could be all shy about it, or you could like subscribe here or something if you want, apparently that's a thing people do. But if you wanna go deeper, if you want particularly uh, the uh, art, science, <laughs> and religion of Mark Angelo Lyons Mel for short, then come Patreon on Patreon, patreon.com slash drawing the circle because I'm the Archangel of Lions I'm Archangel of Lions Mwah. but you can call me Mal thank you so much for watching if you want to book me for a private read video in the description box here on YouTube booking a reading with Mal explains everything for you just like Clarissa wishing you all the very best and the very blessed my beloved Virgos Virgo power hell farewell and blessed blessed be